Hey, this is Medha in front of you from Club of English and today we are going to discuss about a speaking test that can be helpful for you as a sample. Uh, so the speaking consists of three sections mainly. First of all the introductory part uh, in which the examiner is going to ask you the introductory questions. The second one is the cue card. Cue card means you have to speak on, upon a situation continuously for two minutes and the third one is the extended part. Uh, which means the examiner can ask you the questions which can be related to the question which has been asked to you in the cue card or the, uh, those questions can come from the mind of examiner on the spot. Uh, let's talk about the factors as well on what basis the examiner is going uh, to give you the bands. Which one is fluency and cohesion. Fluency means you have to maintain with your words as well as with the flow of data. Uh, cohesion means you have to coherent which has been asked to you in the question uh, should be corresponding to the information you are going to provide to the examiner. The second factor is the lexical resources that means the vocabulary. So just make sure you are going to uh, use some kind of synonym, some kind of collocation instead of using the same word again and again. The third one is grammat uh, grammatical range and accuracy. Uh, yes, you should know about the sentence structure differently. Uh, you have to use uh, the complex sentence, the compound sometimes, the, uh, the passive sentences as well so that you can produce, you can present a type of structures in your exam as well as the grammatical uh, accuracy is also very important so you have to accurate with your grammar as well. The fourth one is pronunciation so you have to take care about your pronunciation as well. You have to speak out your words correctly and accurately and of course with the confidence. Okay so here we are going to have an exam with, uh, with Mr. Dhiraj Arora. So Mr. Arora are you ready? Yes I am ready. So, um, can I have your name please? Uh, this is Dheeraj Aroda. Okay, how may I call you? Uh, you can call me by my first name Dheeraj. And from where you belong to? Uh, well, I belong to a neat and clean city, Kanal. It comes under Haryana state and that city is equidistant from the uh, state capital Chandigarh and the national capital Delhi. Okay, so uh, can we start the introductory part? By all means. Okay, so the very first question is doing currently? Uh, well, uh, I'm working in a company uh, that's actually an automobile company and I've been working there uh, for the last five years. I'm an engineer there. Okay, what are your hobbies? Uh, well, I have uh, hobbies uh, right from playing cricket, browsing the internet, reading books, uh, watching English movies and uh, uh, browsing some social uh, networking sites. These are my hobbies. Okay, what are your favorite leisure time activities? Uh, well, see, I found reading book is the most interesting one among all the hobbies which I have. And this is my most favorite leisure time activity. Uh, reason being, I <coughs> feel books are the warehouse of knowledge. They are our best friend and books help us to improve our uh, mental and intellectual ability. And uh, they have also helped me to improve my linguistic skills as well. So I've got a lot of knowledge from the books and I read variety of books. So this is my favorite leisure time activity. Okay, do you think hobbies are wastage of time? Uh, no, according to me, not at all even. Uh, I think hobbies, they are not wastage of time. They are utilization of our leisure time. And uh, hobbies are the activity which we carry out in our leisure time. And uh, hobbies are like stress buster. They give us break from our monotonous and mundane routine. I mean, we feel recharged and resonated when we participate in any hobby and many of the hobbies uh, pull out our hidden abilities and uh, I guess like we can take up some of the hobbies as a career, we can make our career in that like if someone is fond of playing cricket, he can make his career in the cricket. So I think hobbies are utilization of leisure time. Okay, the next question is what kind of hobbies people have in your area? Uh, well, I'll divide this thing in... Uh, in age factor, I mean it is according to age, like youngsters and teenagers they like to participate in outdoor activities, um, they have some their games like they play cricket in the, um, I mean in the streets and uh, adults they have hobbies of uh, going to discotheques and watching movies in the PVRs and uh, housewives uh, they like chit chatting, gossiping and shopping I think they are, uh, these are their hobbies and uh, senior citizens they like to play playing cards and uh, read spiritual and holistic books. Okay, um, now the content is related to music. So, what is the importance of music in life? 
well music add variety and spice in life um it plays a very important role in our life like uh, we get uh, recharged rejuvenated when we listen to our favorite music and uh, it uh, has a i think on for with me what is uh, when i listen to romantic songs or soft hindi music uh, it has a soothing effect on my soul so different like i listen to some punjabi pop music which energy uh, which uh, gives me energy so different kind of music have different uh, effect on me um, so uh, music plays a crucial role to change your mood so i think in this way music is important okay the next question is what are the advantages and disadvantages of internet uh, well um yes i use internet and uh, it has some advantages like internet has made uh, our life quite easier we can uh, know about anything in no time uh so uh, like by searching anything we we get our answer in no time and um, we download video songs by the mean of internet it's a huge source of entertainment and uh, it has decreased the distance among the people like uh, people sitting in other countries can make video calls and of course there are some uh, disadvantages like uh, uh, cyber crime is one of the disadvantage of internet like uh, uh like scurrilous people of the society they can hack your personal details credit card details your uh, money can be stolen from your bank uh, so these kind of things can happen and one more thing like um like um pornography videos are uh, huge in number on internet which is not good for uh, i mean it's like de- detrimental for youngsters and teenagers so like that kind of site should be okay should not be so there. can we discuss family matters with our friends um well i think we can discuss some matters i mean i mean to say like minor issues can be discussed with some of our good friends but uh, uh but i think um personal issues should not be shared with the friends because uh, i mean the major issues of the families they are very very personal and delicate sometimes friends you know might not understand the gravity of those issues so they these should not be discussed with friends okay um next question is do you think we should keep some expectations from our friends um well uh, i <clears throat> i believe we should not keep expectations uh i mean if we keep expectations from our friends it means like it's like a given take contract so it shouldn't be there like we are doing something for our friend because we care our friend i mean it's if we keep expectation from our friend it's like a, a give and take contract and uh, uh it, that kind of friendship in my opinion is like purpose oriented or targeted kind of a friendship no i don't think we should keep expectation if we care our friend we should help him okay uh, why some students go abroad for further studies uh well uh, there are a variety of reasons students go abroad for further studies first of all uh, quality education and uh, world class facility yes students they get the opportunity to experience programmatic uh, systematic studies practical studies they can get in abroad countries and uh, they get chance to experience world class infrastructure and obviously world class facility they experience over there they get chance to study with some international student they come to know like how international students approach uh, in their studies uh, moreover uh, the uh, degrees they get from the abroad countries they have high reputation in their own countries and uh, they have a higher chances of getting a reputed job in their native countries so these are few reasons uh, like students go abroad for further studies according to me that's all about your introductory part okay let's talk about your cue card and you have to speak upon this situation this cue card continuously for 2 minutes okay so this is the cue card So you're ready? Uh, yes. Actually, you will be having one minute complete for preparing your cue card. So um, have you prepared? Yes. Ready? Uh, Shall we start? Yes. So the cue card is: speak about your favorite political leader. Who is that person? Why you like him or her? And uh, what do you know about him or her? Uh, well. <clears throat> there are many political leaders uh, who i really like and uh, 
tip, uh, like picking up one of them is quite a tough task for me. But uh, I'm going to talk about uh, my favorite political leader, who is actually the current prime minister of uh, my country, uh, Mr. Narendra Modi. I respect uh, him a lot. And uh, there are a variety of reasons why I like uh, Narendra Modi. First of all, uh, um, first of all, like what I know about Narendra Modi, he was from a poor family. And uh, he, in his childhood, he has helped his father at his tea stall. And uh, later on, he became the part of RSS and he did a lot for RSS. And uh, then he became the, first of all, he became the CM of Gujarat. And he did a lot for Gujarat. For 15 years, he was the CM of Gujarat. And after that, uh, because uh, like people liked his work, appreciated his work and selected him as a prime minister of my country, and like he's a person who you know rose from scratches and reached to the highest post of the country so this thing is really inspirational and he's a uh, huge mot is motivation for the youngsters of my country so whenever youngsters of my country they come to know like narendra modi is coming anywhere so people go to listen his speech in great numbers so he's a huge an inspiration among the youngsters and uh, the other thing like uh, how he reached to the highest post of the country this thing proves that like the back of an individual doesn't matter by the sheer determination hard work anyone can achieve higher success in the lives and the next point which i would like to mention here the work he has done for the society they are also appreciable uh, one of them is demonetization and uh, three divorce system in muslim uh, religion that has been banned in india and uh, uh, some like uh, Save Girl Child is one of the uh, great initiative which has been taken by him and Need and Clean India a movement that also has been initiated, initiated by Narendra Modi. So this person is a huge inspiration and uh, I would like to say in the last like I admire and appreciate and uh, him a lot for the work he has done for my country and uh, that's actually uh, all and uh, um, he's a nice human being and okay, nice. Okay, that's all for you, Kyu Khan. Now the next as well as the third part is follow-up questions. So you're ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, the very first question is why students are moving to develop foreign countries for studies? Well, actually, it's um, there are other there are many reasons. Like students are going abroad because they have the ideas in their mind of getting some practical education in abroad, and when they go there. Uh, when they get into that culture, they become habitual of uh, that culture. They find uh, that culture systematic and uh, kind of open-minded culture. So they adjust in that environment and they just want to be in the environment and they just start uh, feeling uh, or they, they, they become the well-wisher of those countries where they're actually studied. So this is the reason like students are shifting to other countries and developing those countries. Okay. What are the benefits of visiting a foreign country? Uh, by visiting a foreign country, we come to know about their eating style, living style and their schedule and their mentality, their way of behaving with each other in the family and uh, the development, uh, which is obviously in the broad countries, which are exactly not there in the developing countries. So we can have the idea of system, what they approach in their own country. So these all things we come to know by traveling other countries. Okay, the next question is what kind of problems one can face in a foreign country? Well, I mean, uh, one, the, the most important uh, thing, uh, three, there are three things, food, cloth and shelter. Among them is, I think, food is one of them. And uh, it's sometimes like uh, in some countries, uh, like seafood is in trend. And like uh, in my country, Indian people prefer vegetarian food mostly. So food problem can be there, can occur there. They don't get their native foods in the foreign countries. And sometimes... Uh, with the culture of the people, like uh, people um, have a different culture of, uh, I mean, treating or behaving differently with different people. So that can be the thing. Okay. Can you please tell me what is drain, a uh, brain drain? Yeah. Uh, brain drain means um, like the talented, the, I mean, the brain, I mean, the talented or the most talented uh, people of your country are migrating to other country for the noble causes, like for getting higher well-paid jobs basically this, this is their target or a reputed lifestyle they want so they feel like that kind of lifestyle they can get in the foreign countries they can um, I mean their jobs or their talent can be more worthful it can be more worth it can have more worth in the foreign countries so 
and uh, they get like uh, appointed by the foreign companies with high paid salaries so they are migrating themselves there so this is called brain drain like the talented people are moving to other countries and getting settled there it's called brain drain okay uh, the next question is related to patience okay. so why patience is necessary uh, well see my name is dheeraj and uh, it means patience and uh, i guess patience is quite important like when you have patience so you know like um, every cloud has silver lining so uh, after every troublesome situation we get into the fair weather situation so we should be patient for the fair weather situation in our life and uh, for this purpose i would say patience is important like with patience we can uh, we can be through with the troublesome situation of our life so, okay so do you have patience yes of course i have patience i'm like i'm a patient and by my nature uh, people say me like you have a lot patience and i will always say like uh, you just keep patience you know patience pays always and it has paid me a lot in my life Uh, for achieving many successful things which i have achieved because of my patience okay mr dheeraj arora that's all for your speaking test thank you thank you ma'am okay can you please stop the video